Hi, my name is Frances Carlson and through this series of videos I want to show you how to successfully navigate your course at Chattahoochee Technical College to the GVTC Angel Learning Management System. After having logged on, you'll see that your courses are listed on the left hand side. In order to access the course, simply click on it. For this video, I'm going to show you as a student how to answer the discussion forums that may be located in your course. Once you access the course, the discussion forums may be visible on the home page for that course. If they are, simply click on each one in order to access that week's discussion. If they're not loaded on the home page, however, you will be able to locate them through the Communicate tab located at the top of your computer screen. Simply click on Communicate and you'll see that the discussion forums are here. To read and reply to a forum, simply click on the highlighted area and then a field will appear that contains both the question and an Add New Thread button that you will select when you're ready to respond. Here's a question. How can a teacher's lack of knowledge in child development adversely affect teaching, classroom activities, and learning? Give an example of one of your own school experiences that reflects a teacher's poor understanding of what children are like. That's the question that the instructor has asked for this week. In order to respond, you simply go to New Post and click. A field will open. You will select a title. And then in this interactive box, you will write what you think. Of course, for demonstration purposes, I'm not writing what would be an acceptable response. I'm simply showing you how one is written. When you're done, click Save. And even though your response is now posted, it might not show until after this page has been refreshed. Now, if you want to read what other students have said and then respond to their responses, you would click on the title of their post. After reading their post, you can then reply by coming down here to the reply field. I'm going to show you how to do that. You get an interactive field again and you can see that you're replying to what this student already said and it lets you know you're replying to someone else's message. When you're through, just save it again. Now I'm going to refresh the page so that the post will be visible by clicking on this refresh button. Once refreshed, I will have to reaccess the Discussion 1 forum. I'll do that by going back to Communicate. Back to Discussion 1. And after it loads, you'll be able to see all of the responses. Here's the one that I just posted. And then here are responses that were posted previously that other people have already responded to. You can tell if a response has been threaded or responded to because it'll have this little plus sign in the box. If you click on that, you'll be able to see all the responses to those questions. And then you can read those and reply as needed. That's a quick overview of how students respond to discussion forums on the ANGEL Learning Management System. I hope it's been helpful for you.